So another cool feature of using the Trident Castle is that right next door, there's a Trident Hotel. So with Portland, there are no all-inclusive hotels in Portland. There are very few properties in Portland that can host a wedding and a wedding group in the same space. And more to that point, most of the venues in Portland are villas. So you'll have smaller boutique properties um, and they're at different levels. So in terms of high-end luxury properties, Trident sits on the top of that. And what is amazing is the hotel next door, if you're looking to do a full takeover, there are 14 villas on 10 acres. Now, obviously for 14 villas, you're looking at a wedding smaller than 50 people. So 50 people would be very intimate. There are a few other villas around that could do with the overflow, and then you would bus your guests in. But the Trident property is amazing. Um, as soon as you walk into the property, like just that walk in from the lobby is what hits most clients right away. For the most part, they walk into the property and they're thinking, that's where I want to have my ceremony. It really is a stunning view. You're looking right through the main doors of the lobby. You're seeing the infinity pool and you're looking right to the water. So it's almost as if you feel like you can just kind of glide over into the Caribbean Sea, which is amazing. And for shots, you know, second to none, there are very few properties that are set up in that way. At the same time, I also just wanted to throw in that a few photographers, videographers have worked to do pictures from the waterway back to the property. So that, of course, would involve getting a boat and going around the property and being able to shoot from the water to the property. And that gives a completely different view, which is depending on what your clients are after, you know, aerial shots, shots coming in, shots from the water, they can get a really different perspective and that can be really, really cool as well. So there's that about the property. The lawn area can be used at Trident for receptions under a tent or even open air. Um, but what I really, really like at Trident as a feature in terms of an intimate reception is um, the supper club. The supper club is just like really cool. I don't know if, if I can say sexy here, but yeah, it's really sexy. So very kind of 70s, speakeasy, gorgeous, big red piano. It's just beautiful. You feel like you're stepping back into a certain era and it's a juxtaposition because Trident looks like a very modern property, but they've reached back and just pulled in a few elements that just make it very different. Um, and of course, that's why it pulls in a certain kind of celebrity clientele as well. So you walk on the property and you already feel like you're going to be taken care of in a different, more concierge level way, which is awesome. So your clients get very comfortable right away. And if it is that their style, then you're guaranteed to have a great outcome because they're already happy. So there are just a few areas, but again, on that property, only intimate weddings, I would say of less than 50. If you're doing the traditional sit down um, and you want intimate spaces, it can do just over a hundred on the lawns, but then that would probably be breaking the guests up. They wouldn't all be in the same space. So it feeds the need for somebody who's a little more bohemian and wants a little more eclectic look and not into tra traditional weddings, but it works just the same. So I love that in terms of the weddings feature of the hotel. So we cannot talk about Trident Hotel without highlighting the next few things. So it is the only property on this side of the island that has its own helipad. Now that is just completely amazing. If you have the kind of couple that want to do something different in getting to their wedding, a chopper, or from the water coming in, those give, that gives them two amazing additional elements that they won't find any place else in this way. So the helipad is amazing. Also just on the property itself, there is a gorgeous like library, huge room, uh, books that you can borrow. Um, and then the idea is to borrow one, bring one. So you leave one, you take one. And then also for families because Trident is also kid friendly, it's a family property. Um, or even for, you know, an intimate couple, there's a screening room. So you can actually reserve the screening room to watch your movie in private by yourself, just the two of you or a family or a grouping. 
um, you can also get kind of creative. And if you're a movie person, then thinking of your all your bridesmaids, the girls using it one night or the guys using it one night to watch a game or something, if that's what's happening on a weekend while you're here. So those things are a lot of nice to knows. And again, just the villas themselves. Um, there are 14 of them. They're completely amazing. And I guess I should just throw in the boast of this property is that Shiprock, which is um, Villa 14, which is one of the most stunning villas um, on the property, has been, they've had, of course, a lot of celebrities on property, and that's the Beyonce Villa. So she's been here, she stayed in that property um, when she's visited Portland. And it is, it, it's a big boast because I think there was a little bit of a write up and she really, she said she really enjoyed that. You have to see it for yourself. It's stunning. And I'm sure we'll just all agree that all around, it's one of those combination properties that you get what you pay for. It's amazing. It's fabulous. And if you are working here, or if you are taking your clients here, then those are all the things that you want to know about Trident and Trident Castle and Trident Hotel. So if you have clients, if this property is appealing to you, if you have clients who like this aesthetic or you yourself want to be able to work on this property um, and you want to be able to be knowledgeable enough to walk your clients through this property and introduce it to them because chances are they probably don't know that it exists, um, then you will want to get on my email list um, with a view to attending the destination experience that I'm putting together at the end of the fall, um, perhaps sometime in November, where I'm going to take a very small group. It's going to be a little bit like a fam, so it's very small group so that we have that intimacy, but also that we have enough time to talk through everything and directly answer you know, questions for everybody. That's going to be, um, we're going to go through a few properties. I would say probably five or six and we're going to be meeting with local vendors and we're going to be pulling kind of all of that together just so that you have not only the properties but you have the support that you need to do what you need to do here so um, some somewhere around this or um, there's a link to get on my wait list and get into um, on my email list and the wait list for the experience and you want to just drop your interest there just so that i have a little bit of an idea um, about you know what you want to see um, and there's also going to be something there that if there's another property that you have in mind that you want to take a look at just drop that in as well and, and give me some feedback so I know um, you know what next to highlight.